All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how David Blaine did his card trick on ABC where he fooled um, Anthony Davis and LeBron James. So it's actually a pretty simple trick. Um, luckily for him, um, you know, Anthony Davis and LeBron basically ran away with the card when he selected it. So it was really, it was a lot easier for him to, you know, misdirect them in a sense. Um, so in your guys' case, you might want to use a similar, you know, means of misdirection. So basically what, it, what happens is he has them pick a card and in this case, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a different variation. It's the same thing, but um, he uses 13 cards. He basically gets rid of 75% um, of the deck. And then he does this optical illusion only using 13 cards, which is um, a little more difficult than if you're going to use, you know, like 26. So I'm going to show you guys this version. It's the same exact thing. Um, anyways, here's what it looks like. All right, so basically what you do is you set up the deck so you have red and black. And you can please split those up. There's no order, just red and black. And then what you can do is you go ahead and you actually catch a pinky break separating the two decks. In this case, we have the black cards on top. And all you can do is start the trick with a pinky break. And then what you do is you have the spectators pick a card from the black side. So in this case, let's say here, they pick any random card and you spread the deck still holding the break. And then all you have to do at this point is just get rid of, I know it's easier said than done, but essentially this is what David Blaine does. Um, you have to get rid of the cards that you don't want. So in this case, you don't want, um, and you can do this either way, actually. You can get rid of, let's say we get rid of the, the black cards. So in this case, what you're going to do is have the spectators um, try and sign the card. So this is the easiest form of misdirection. This is what David Blaine has them do in the video as well. So basically, let's say you don't bring a pen with you, right? And you say, all right, does anybody have a, a pen we can sign this with or something? And they're going to be maybe looking, you know, in their purses, on the shelves, in desks, or, you know, anywhere. So what you do is the moment they, you know, kind of turn their heads and whatnot, you can just take the deck, take the cards that you don't want in this case. Let's say we take half of the cards, in this case all the black cards. And what you can do is take these and just quickly, you know, put them in your pocket or something. Um, one variation that I've seen is you can basically put the cards into you, the palm of your hand like this. So only the top reaches the middle and the inside of the thumb and then you can you know this is very easy to do you just have the deck and the pinky break and you slide it down just kind of manipulate the deck so you can hold it like this right and you have the bottom half there and then you have the top half and the spectators aren't going to notice anything if the angle looks like this because this is where your hands are going to look like to the spectators eyes and essentially um, you know while it's very casual you just pick up the deck with your right hand and you put the rest of the cards in your pocket and from the front they're not going to see it if you're very smooth but essentially bottom line you have to get down to these cards so like i said before um you know i'm not taking any credit away from david blaine obviously it takes a lot of skill um to hide you know 75 percent of the deck without anybody really noticing but luckily for him his spectators did run away and they weren't even watching him so he had the perfect opportunity to get rid of all the cards he needed to so in this case let's say the spectator picks this card right they sign this card and what you do is this is this is all happening before the spectators get back to you before all their attention is back to you you need to be able to get the 26 cards into a position that looks like this so now this looks like a full deck but in reality it's just 26 cards so david blaine does this with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Basically, he does this with 13 cards, right? I mean, it's pretty it's pretty impressive that he was able to make 13 cards appear as a full deck. So I'll I'll get into the into the details of how to do this, but obviously I'm not as good as him. But he's able to make an entire suit look like a full deck of cards to the spectator. And that's why I'm going to show you guys using half the deck because you're still able to get away with the same illusion, and it's a lot easier to make it look like an entire deck to the spectator. So anyways, here's what you can do. So at this point, let's say you put, okay, you've gotten rid of the other deck, you put it in your pocket really quick. All you have to do is very quickly kind of get it into this fluffed position. You just crimp the deck so that way you bend the cards. You're gonna put the bottom half, the bottom ridge of the deck right in this knuckle of your finger. And then you're going to come up and put the top half of the cards in this part of your index pink, uh, finger, the first knuckle. And all you do is just kind of crimp the cards like that. So you'll feel the bending motion and the cards will just start 
to bend out a little bit. And you'll get a feel for where you want to put it. But the more bend in the cards, like that's perfect. That's where you want it to be. You want to see those nice spaces. So if you have the cards like this, that's too bent, right? You want to make sure each card is separated as much as it can be. And then what you do is you grab your thumb and your other fingers on the back here, your middle and your ring, and you grab the cards where they're bent, and then you just kind of pull away with your hands to further. So if the deck is straight on, it looks kind of see-through. Like right there, it looks kind of hollow. But if you bend it off to the side, no one's going to be able to see anything, and it looks like a full deck of cards. So that's basically the illusion right there. All he did, he took 13 cards, you know, as after he got rid of all the other ones, he got them super bent like this, pulled them forward, and then he was able. And if you look at his hand, it's in the same exact position. He's holding the deck just like this. And then all you do is you put their card, um, well, before you do that, you have to get rid of the cards, right? So he does like a little magician's force, basically. So in this case, we're left with all the red cards, and the spectators, in this case, chose a black card. What you can do is, it's very simple. You tell the spectators, okay, so you know what? Well, there's, uh, there's red cards and there's black cards, right? There's hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. All right, so I want you to choose. All right, just, just, just shout out loud, red or black. And then what you do is, if they say the color black, you say, okay, all right, so you chose black, right? I want you to think of all those cards, just, you know, like you just threw them in the trash can, right? They're gone. And if they chose red, then it works out even better because obviously you've kept the red. So you can tell us back there's, all right, so you know what? Uh, let's deal with just the red cards, all right? So you picked red, um, and then you just kind of follow up with a little magical gesture. You say, okay, so your card here, I'm going to put this in the middle of the deck, and you can put this in the middle. And if you have the angles right, it looks like it's getting pushed right into the middle of a full deck of cards. Um, but then all you do is, as your angles, you know, it's better if the spectators are in front of you, you're going to angle the deck down. All right, so bottom line is, to the camera, I'm just angling it to the side a little bit. But if your spectators are in front of you, just have your hand angle downwards. And then from here, you just kind of push on. You just kind of release the pressure with your thumb. And you push down on the deck and the cards. Do a little optical illusion where it looks like the deck is just shrinking. And then you can show the spectators. And if they don't believe it there, then when you show the spectators that all the black cards actually did disappear, with theirs being the only one chosen, um, it's a pretty cool trick. So I hope you guys like the tutorial. It's basically the same way David Blaine performed it, except for if you use 26 cards, you're going to be able to get away with um, a better illusion um, unless you practice it um, and you know you get the form right and whatnot. But that's the gist of what he did. Obviously, like I said, I'm never going to say 100% certain I know what he did, but this is something that you can get replicated. So I hope you guys like the video, and as always, thanks for watching.